This is Glen May, and I'll turn you around and show you in a moment beautiful waterfalls. The water is crystal clear. And because we're down low, there's no wind. Yay! Because I was getting seriously fed up with the wind. But this is wonderful. There's a huge car park at the top, which belongs to the Waterfall Inn, which looks like it's closed. Which is a shame, because certainly during TT week, the place used to be rammed. And this is a wonderful place to come and chill out and get away from the race bikes. Not that you'd want to, of course. So I'm going to get set up and see what I can come up with. This isn't the easiest of compositions to make. The waterfall seems to come in at an angle, and I don't mean sort of, I'm not quite sure how to explain it. Stood here, looking through the viewfinder, it's coming down at a, I don't know, 30 degree angle? Which when you're looking at it through the viewfinder, it doesn't look right. It's like the image is skewed. But then you come down to this bit down here, and that's perfectly straight. We've also got, on the other side of the bridge, these wooden support struts, which make it really tight for a composition. But I've gone with that top left-hand corner, and essentially it kind of comes straight down to bottom right-hand corner. I've done a couple of different exposure times. The only filter I've got on is the polarizer, just to take the sheen off the rocks at the side and to make the greenery pop. <coughs> Excuse me. I've gone down as, as low as half a second to get a bit of motion in the water and then I've gone up to a second to get the walls of the valley and the greenery and the leaves exposed correctly and I shall end up blending those two because I do, there's too much water coming down there, it just, there's no detail at all, no texture, it's just a white whoosh of water. For those of you who either haven't been here before or have no idea what I mean by a polarizer, I'm going to try and show you. Now, this is the live view image, and that is with the polarizer fully on. So if I just spin it round, you can see how all of the water comes back, all the reflections and the light come back onto the water, which makes for an awful photo, and it gets worse the further round you put the polarizer. Put the polarizer on to full effect, and it makes the rocks absolutely pop. And you get definition here instead of having, instead of that rock competing with all the lights, the bright bits, etc. I think with the polarizer on, it makes a much more pleasing image. Well, for the viewer's image this week, we have another shot from Blackpool. But this time it is from Jim Cook and it's the North Pier, beautifully converted to mono. There's some lovely light picking out the white of the, the buildings and the tops of the pier. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you ever so much, Jim, for popping in and sending me that image. I hope you enjoy. I've wanted an image of Douglas Lighthouse since I first decided that I would like to come over here without the bike. And I've had a good look around and I'm really struggling to find a composition that I was happy with. And I'm not really convinced this one works. And that doesn't look very steep, 
but it's actually like the side of a mountain to come down. In fact, I'm not actually sure how I got down here. And if I turn you around, one slip and I'm off the edge. <laughs> but the clouds are lighting up quite nicely. We've got the beautiful aquamarine water, waves crashing around the base of the lighthouse. It is very tight to this left-hand side. I could go a little further out down here and I might just try that, but I'm conscious of the fact here I'm sheltered from the wind. Down there, not quite so much. So I've dialed in F13, 10 seconds. I am on the 10 to 20 at 10 mil and I've got these rocks pulling you through to the lighthouse. As I say, it's a little bit tight, the gap between ooh, the cliff face and the lighthouse itself. But it was too good an opportunity to miss, to be honest. I'm quite liking this. I'm going to go and try down there. And then I've got an hour to get back up the top because the ferry leaves at quarter to eight. And I'm hoping, 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 hoping we're going to get a bit of colour. It looks promising there. Mm, fingers crossed. But this exposure, I'll try and flip you around and show you what we've got. So we've got the rock striations coming in this side. We've got some beautiful movement in the clouds and we've got the gorgeous aquamarine water with the lighthouse just nestled in there, peeking out. As I say, I'm not convinced it's 100% a workable image, but it's about as good as I'm gonna get. So thank you very much for coming along. I hope it's not been too boring. I will be back. I say I have friends over here, so I have no excuse not to come back. It's just, there are just so many places, but everything has to coincide. Tide time, sunrise, sunset, and no rain. But it still feels like home. It really does. So as I say, thank you for coming along. Catch up with you next Sunday. We'll do it all again. Bye.